Hello everyone! In this control engineering and control theory tutorial, we explain how to define and simulate state space models of linear dynamical systems in Python. Furthermore, we explain how to perform basic operations on state space models in Python. The approach presented in this video tutorial is based on the Python control systems library. To be more precise, in this video tutorial you will learn how to define state space models in Python. Number two, how to convert state space models to transfer function models and back in Python. Number three, how to simulate the step response of state space models in Python. Number four, how to compute poles, zeros, natural frequencies and damping ratios of state space models in Python. And number five, how to discretize continuous time state space models in Python. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy, and planning to create this video tutorial, as well as more than 450 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start with explanations. The first step is to install the Python control systems library. For that purpose, open a command prompt or open an anaconda command prompt if you're using anaconda and type pip install control. This command will install the Python control systems library. As you can see over here, in my case, the requirements are already satisfied. This is because I have already installed the Python control systems library. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress over here. To make this video tutorial as concise as possible, over here I will paste a piece of code that I wrote previously. The first step is to import the necessary libraries. Over here, we import the plotting function. Then, over here, we import the control systems library. Note that it's a standard convention to import the control systems library as CT. And finally, we import the NumPy library. Over here, I wrote a brief function that's used to generate step response graphs, such as the one that you can see over here. The inputs to this function are x-axis vector. This is a time vector or time array. y-axis vector. This is a response vector or the response array. Title string is the title of the plot. String x axis is the x axis label. String y axis is the y axis label. And the string file name is the file name for saving the plot. Usually I use PNG files to save my plots. Over here we define the figure size. Then we plot the x-axis vector and y-axis vector, we set the color and the line width. Then we set the title, x-label, y-label, we adjust the size of the fonts, and we plot the grid, we save the graph, and finally we show the graph. And that's it. First, let's learn how to define state space models. The state space models of linear dynamical systems have the following form x dot is equal to ax plus bu this is the state equation and the output equation y is equal to cx over here x is the state vector y is the output vector x dot is the first derivative of the vector x and a b and c are the system matrices to define the state space model in Python, first we need to define system matrices. The matrix A is defined like this. We are calling numpy.array function and we need to specify a 2x2 two two matrix. We specify matrices row-wise. For example, the first row of my matrix will be 0, 1 and the second row will be minus 4, minus 2. Then, B matrix will be actually a column vector, in my case, and it's defined like this, numpy.array, and I'm specifying matrix row-wise, 0, 1. 
Okay, the C matrix is a row matrix, numpy.array. Let's, for example, select C to be 1, 0, and the matrix will be 0 in my case, which is often the case for control systems. Now, to define the state space model, we use this function, ct.ss, and we type the system matrices A, B, C, D. This function will return a Python control systems library state space description, and I will call this model as sys state space. Okay, so let's evaluate this code and let's see the result. Now, if I type here sys state space, actually I need to write print sys state space, here it is. Here's my state space model. It has one input, one output, two states, and here are the system matrices. Next, let's learn how to simulate the step response of this system. First, we need to define a time vector. I'm using the function numpy.leanspace. I start from zero until five seconds, and in between I have 100 samples. Then, to simulate the state st space step response, I'm using the function step response. I'm specifying the name of the state space model, and I'm specifying the time vector. This function will return two outputs. The first output is the time used to simulate the state space model, and the second output is the system output, in our case, the step response. Here it is. It's the NumPy array. Now, finally, let's plot the state step response. Here it is. Perfect. We can use the function ct.stepinfo to obtain basic information about the step response. Let's see the output. Here it is. This function will actually compute the rise time, settling time, overshoot, undershoot, peak, peak time, and steady state value. A very useful function to know. We can compute the natural frequencies, damping ratios, and poles of a state space model by using this function ct.damp. Let's see the output. Okay, very interesting. We can see two eigenvalues. Eigenvalues are actually eigenvalues of the matrix A. Then, we can see the damping ratio, 0 0.5, of this specific eigenvalue, or a pole of the system, and we can see the natural frequency. Perfect. We can compute the poles by using the function CT poles. Here are the poles. We can compute zeros, like this, no zeros. Then we can compute the pole zero map, another very useful function, and you can see the pole zero map. The system is obviously asymptotically stable. And here is another very useful function. This function is similar to the MATLAB's CISO tool collection of plots. Let's see the output of this function. Voila, here it is. We can see the body plot, we can see the root locus, and we can see the step response. Next, let's learn how to convert our state space model to transfer function and vice versa. We can do that by using the function ct.ss2tf. Okay, so let's see the transfer function corresponding to our state space model. Here it is. And we can do other way around. We can convert this transfer function to our state space model by using tf2ss. And here's the result. That's our original state space model. Perfect. Next, let's learn how to discretize our state space model. First, we need to select the discretization time. There are several approaches for discretizing continuous time systems. The most popular approaches are the zero-order whole discretization 
and bilinear discretization. And the function called ct.sampleSystem enables us to use these two discretization methods. To discretize the state space model, we call the function sample system. We specify the continuous time, state space model, we uh, specify the sampling time, and we specify the method. For example, ZOH means zero order hold. You can also here specify bilinear if you want to use bilinear discretization. Okay, so let's do that and let's look into the output. Here is our discrete time system model. And we can check if the system is actually in discrete time by running this function. And its output is actually true. Now let's compute the step response of the discretized state space model. Again, we specify the time vector and we call the function ct step response. And the function ct.step response will automatically recognize that our state space model is now in discrete time. Once we simulate the state space model, we can plot the step response by using our function plotting function. And here is the output. Okay, looks almost the same as the step response of the continuous time system. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, Please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.